for one thing, snakes are very common in India and in rural India, particularly because there's just so many rats around. Yeah. And rice fields and wheat fields, almost any grain field is a natural magnet for large numbers of rodents. And rodents come into people's houses. And snakes follow the scent trail of rodents into people's houses. If a crate comes into somebody's house, it's a nocturnal snake, one of the very venomous snakes in India. If it comes into somebody's house in search of a rat and it happens to crawl over somebody, that person might try to whack it away and it'll, he'll get bitten. And he or she could die from that bite because the crate venom is very, very toxic. The whole snake bite mitigation program is based on the fact that if we can prevent snake bite, it's much better than trying to cure it. So it's really much better to teach people, use a light at night, watch where you put your hands and feet, and don't get bitten. Use mosquito nets as well, right? Oh, absolutely. Particularly for someone sleeping at night, using a mosquito net only protects you from mosquitoes and dengue and malaria. It can protect you against scorpion sting or snake bite. So when someone gets bitten by a snake, they say, what do we do? Go to the hospital as fast as you can. But there's no ambulance here, but there's a motorbike. Just make sure someone sits behind you to hold you on in case you start feeling dizzy or something.